afternoon, one o'clock, Friday afternoon, heading up to Launceston for a uh, for a job tomorrow. Got got to work tomorrow. Let's get on the road. Hobart to Launceston. But I'm going to show you the three things you must stop and look at when you're driving Hobart to Launceston. Let's go. Right, so off we go. Hobart to Launceston is about 180 kilometers. And with the current roadworks situation, it takes between two and a half and three hours. Depends on how many nafties are on the road. Right, this is stop one. Where else would you rather be on a trip from Hobart to Launceston than stopping and checking out Spring Hill? Spring Hill is the highest point on the Midland Highway at 488 meters above sea level. Because, because where else would you rather be? Let's, let's get a quick photo and we'll just keep going. And let's keep going. Stop two on this little Hobart to Launceston trip. This town of Ross, estimated in 1821, it's a ripping little country town. Let's go for a quick tour. With a population of about 22, it takes 10 seconds to get from one side to the other and you're not far off the highway, well worth a pop in to grab a coffee. We should get another photo. Oh, right, the third thing, Hobart to Launceston is the place you're going because there's nothing else to see on the way up. I can't believe it took that long to get the long system. Oh. <sighs> no, no, but serious, this is the best thing about Launceston coming up. That's the sign to say you're leaving it and the city, the city is in the background. But I'm going to show you the three things you must just, just smack the car there. Hang on a second. Typical Launceston weather. Oh, what a heap of... 